Good evening and welcome to our post-game women's volleyball press conference. We will start the press conference with an opening statement from head coach Natalie Regan. And we'll open it up to questions for coach along with student athletes Jada Harris and Natalie Glenn. Thank you, Lindy. Um, first and foremost, want to thank UCI for coming out. They're an incredible team and we wish them all the best this season. Uh, 2,200 attendance in the pyramid is a great number for us and we really want to thank the community for coming out. It truly means so much to us to have their support and to have them uh, rallying behind us. It, it really is why we do this and so to have that support uh, means a ton and it's something that we want to see night in and night out. This match was a really, really hard fought one. Um, something that felt similar to our Big West tournament uh, late last year with them early on. And I think that's a huge testament to our team. And, you know, there's no shortage of wanting this win. And they really are a motivated group that wants to be in this and uh, wants those points and wants to grind with it. And so we're proud of them with that. With that being said, there are points left on the board, and there's places for us to clean up our game a little bit and be better um, and just do our system a little bit better. I don't think it's necessarily changing the wheel, so we are excited to respond tomorrow. Uh, coach, a back-and-forth match. Uh, pretty much saw everything, uh, but through all of that, your team pretty much led in hitting percentage throughout the night. Um, just... Uh, going back under 200 at the end of the night, but still had a pretty big advantage over UC Irvine. Uh, what do you think was kind of the changing force for Irvine to get the advantage in the end? Yeah, I mean, um, they served really well. And we didn't have our best passing night, but ultimately our offense, uh, I'm really proud of us for the way that we performed. Uh, our pins did an incredible job tonight of carrying some weight. And Zayna did a great job of move, moving the ball around and playing a good ball in the offense. Um, I think really, you know, it comes down to some big points of we played incredible defense and had really long rallies and were able to extend some points that we probably didn't have any business with it. Um, but really the serve receive was an unusual night for us in that aspect. Hi, Coach. Um, so tonight's game was a journey in terms of <laughs> um, disruptions and having plays under review. And um, how did each of you guys feel coming back from those plays? And what are you taking away from this to carry on to tomorrow? Um, yeah, I think the journey's real. That first set, I believe, was 45 minutes, and I don't know how many challenges went back and forth. Uh, and it's always tricky playing a game like that when it's stop and go, and it's really hard to feel flow or feel like you're getting in rhythm in that aspect. And so it was difficult at times. Um, with that being said, it's those points are necessary, and those challenges are really helpful. So to have it is something that we would – absolutely want day in and day out um, but it very much was a journey and, and very back and forth so personally I mean I'll be very honest with you guys I was personally pretty frustrated at times tonight not nothing against the refs or anything there were just um, timing that was difficult for us to go back and forth um, so that that can be hard as a player and and just really taxing so it was hard at times but interested how you guys felt um, usually when it's like a long pause like that during sets, I kind of just take it as a moment to reset, like the score is zero, 0 and it's like the first mm -hmm. point. Um, I would say that, that as well, um, especially when we were going on runs. Um, but at the end of the day, momentum is just a feeling, so it's kind of like that's when we put our heads down and grind, and that's what's really cool about challenges is both teams get to reset, so... But yeah. Uh, Jada, I believe a career high in kills tonight. Um, yes, five sets, but it was a grind, as you mentioned. Uh, what did you see and what were you able to do to get past that UCI block that was leading the conference coming into tonight? Um, I had a lot of help from my team. There was a lot of conversation happening, um, so it wasn't just me. Um, a lot of really good commentary and feedback from the coaches as well, um, telling me like, 
uh, different shots and different things that I have to keep in my toolbox um, and not to just be solidified in one option. So it was really cool. But uh, they put up a good block, but that means that we can do a lot more with it, you know? Um, and going off of that, Jada, you did really stand out tonight. So kudos to you. Um, did you have, either of you, did you have any moments or any um, specific chats or moments of feedback that really stood out to you tonight that helped keep that momentum up? Um, whenever we would go in the huddle, it's very special when you can t just feel trust and confidence in your teammates, um, radiating, on, radiating off of them and onto you. Um, so I think that's just what kept me going is my teammates and their affirmations were really huge tonight. So, yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, for Natalie, uh, it seems like when you're in system, it's as fast as a right side set as any maybe across the country. Um, what has gone into that connection with you and Zayna Meyer to develop that, that speed? Um, I just think a lot of talking and during practice, we really, we really try to work on our rhythm, like me going slow to fast and then Zayna like setting the ball fast. So I think just having that trust with each other is really the biggest thing. Um, and coach, I know Zayna isn't here, but I wanted to touch on this. Uh, she is now sixth all time in career all-time assists at Long Beach State, wow. um, just past Jillian Mazzarella, um, wow. had just passed Brittany Hochaver uh, wow. before that. So can you touch on maybe the work that she has put in, um, especially this year, uh, to get to that milestone? Yeah, Zana's uh, put in as much work as anyone's ever gonna do in a college career. That kid works so hard and she wants it so bad. And uh, I think sometimes, I think the biggest lesson that we're all learning right now is less can be more. And a big part of that is just learning how to be balanced in our lives. Um, but really, she has done an incredible job as a leader of making sure that she understands her teammates and is there for them um, when they need support or help or affirmations. And it's a big part of uh, the assists. And we talk about how that translates from off the court to on the court and on the court mid-rally. So that's something that I think she's done an incredible job with as a young woman and a, a setter and is something that is going to be incredible for the rest of her career. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.